My name is EJ. Today I'm going to talk about FGSM and basics of adversarial machine learning, easy but detailed, within five minutes. Adversarial machine learning is a technique to attack a machine learning model. Many of you must have seen this photo. Panda on the left is, is categorized as panda by the model, but if you add a purposely designed noise to the panda photo, the model categorized that photo as a given with 99.3% confidence. The most basic and well-known method among the adversarial machine learning is FGSM. It's short for a fast gradient sign method. It is introduced by Ian Gefellow et al. in 2015. As the name represents, it's relatively fast to compute, and it uses sine of the gradient, as you can see from the equation below. You don't have to understand what this equation means yet. I'll explain it to you in a very easy way. First of all, how do we attack the ML model? We want to change the input as little as possible so that people wouldn't notice the change. Plus, we want to change the output of the model as much as possible so that the category changes. There could be several ways to do it, but here, first, to change the input as little as possible, we're going to limit the input pixel changes to a very small number of epsilon. And to change the output as much as possible, we will maximize the loss with respect to the original output. Let's add a little math to it. First, x adv, x adversarial, is the adversarial image. And the difference with the original image x should be within epsilon. Next, we want to maximize the loss of the output of the model with the x adv so that the output would be as far away as possible from y true. Now, in an ML model, we do gradient descent to minimize the loss. But here, since we want to maximize the loss, we can do the gradient descent. First, we get the gradient, and we add the learning rate portion of it to the x. But here, we have a constraint. The x needs to be changed within the epsilon, which means the absolute size of this value needs to be within epsilon, which is very small value. We can do it step by step, but instead, since we want to do it fast, we'll just add the epsilon value to x to the direction of the gradient. So we get the direction of the gradient using the sine function. Then we multiply epsilon to it. That gives you the equation you saw in the beginning. Let's explore some examples of the FGSM. These are the basic MNIST images. I made a very simple image classification model that gave me accuracy of about 97%. Then I applied FGSM attack and tried several, several values of epsilon. You'll see the decrease in the accuracy and the images with wrong prediction as the epsilon value increases. You can also see the deterioration of the image qualities. As the epsilon value gets larger and larger, you can clearly see that there's noise on the images. And the accuracy converges to the value for the random classification, which is about 10%. The noise is very clearly noticeable because MNIST is especially a simple image but it's harder to notice when the source images are more complicated. You can also do the target attack. Here, we set the target as 8, and 8 of these images are classified as 8 when they all still look like the original label to me. How do we implement it? You can implement it by yourself using the equation you just learned, or you can just simply use a library that is already implemented for you. One of the most popular one is called ART, A-R-T, Adversarial Robustness Toolbox. You can install it using PIP and simply call the, the fast gradient method on your classifier model. I hope you now understand how the FGSM algorithm works. That's all for today. Thank you very much.